Welcome back to my Travel Turkey GoPro series. This is the seventh and final episode of our epic three-week trip through Turkey, ending in Cappadocia. My friend Hannah and I saw hot air balloons in the sky, somehow ended up making wine with a local, and explored an underground cave city where I ventured further than I was supposed to. If you haven't already, check out the other episodes on my YouTube channel, Roxanne Taylor Media, and please click subscribe to come along on the next adventure. Now let's go. So it's 6.30 in the morning and we've just arrived in Cappadocia by an overnight bus. So we managed to save a few bucks by not getting the hotel last night and just sleeping on the bus. How are you feeling, Hannah? Good, I think we're going for about four hours, but we'll see if I plummet later on. That's awesome. I had a total of about seven hours just with one wake up in the middle, so feeling pretty good. But Cappadocia is looking pretty sensational. Flintstones, see the Flintstones. It was a leisurely five minute walk from the bus to our hostel where we had the cutest friend waiting for us. Thanks for helping us find our accommodation. Aww. So this street dog followed us all the way from the overnight bus to our hostel. Now the hostel dog's getting all territorial. So I'll come and find him later and we'll go for a run. Hey? Hey? Good boy. We fell in love with Coffee, the hostel puppy of just a few weeks old. Ooh. We stayed at the Shoestring Cave House in the dormitory. The accommodation, like many in Cappadocia, is literally a cave made from stone. So it's about 6am and I've just got out of bed to set up the camera and watch all these balloons in the sky as the sun rises. Do you reckon that's safe? Ooh, I don't know. But I'm going to get my camera and try and get up here. I made it. It is so good just in the past before the sun rises over there. It's just like an abandoned block. Meanwhile, Hannah had an even better view because she opted to go up in one of the balloons for about $200. I was on a super tight budget, so I admired the view from the ground, which was still absolutely incredible. And you can check out my Instagram, Roxanne Taylor Media, to see some of my photos. Watching the balloons over the rocky landscape was one of the highlights of this trip because it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. It truly felt magical. And then we had another random travel experience with a local. We're going to do some grape stomping. Uh, a friend of ours lined it up for us, but we're not quite sure what we're in for. Yes, we are! Hello! <laughs> Take off the first the sticks, like this, and after that, punching. Punching? Oh, with your feet or your hands? No, with your feet. Okay, that's alright. I'm ready for this. Lucky I've got a huge uh, feet. Lucky we did the petties. Here any people? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hair up or hair down? Hair up. <laughs> 1,700 litres uh, homemade red wine. Oh, that's a possibility. Do you want us to get more helpers from the hostel? I can stop somebody on the street over. <laughs> okay. If I was getting paid by the hour, I'd be Let's earning lots of money. Does the stuff try and eat them? No. Okay. grapes are bad for dogs, aren't they? I know. No, he doesn't exist. He doesn't like them? Great. It's funny, everywhere else in Turkey there have been so many cats, oh, yeah. but here there's dogs. dogs. Yeah. Maybe like pants will be wrapped, uh, comfortable. Yeah. Otherwise I'll have to clean my pants, so. I oh! Wowie! <laughs> it just feels like slime. This is so weird. <laughs> individually, putting them here and then the stomping and then we filled up six of these now so it's time for us to call it a day because we're starving hungry. 
<laughs> I think we've done a pretty good job. It makes you appreciate how much effort goes into every glass of wine that you enjoy. Yeah. Every glass, a single glass of wine, I will remember you. Shukula! Shukula! That's a wrap. We're going to come see some tunnels. Yeah. Then we explored an underground cave city built for hiding from invasions. Ow! My head! This smells a bit like urine. Mm. Underground city. Maybe we should have taken that tour guide up. I think it could have been a three hour process versus maybe an hour process. This little brain is quite simple. Ow! <laughs> How do you tell people do this? They just all donk their heads every day. So these caves are really echoey and you can actually hear people who are at least 30, 40 metres away really quite loudly. And so we've been told that it's because when danger was coming they would warn the others by calling out and it would echo all the way down through the caves. <laughs> Whoa, so what happens when you live in an ancient underground city and you die? They put you in graves even further underground. Whoa. I wonder if there's actual like remains of people down. No? But like would they have exhumed them to make it into a tourist attraction? I think the French stole all the bones. Oh like French music. Can you just be my presenter? Can you repeat that? I actually learned some stuff yesterday. Uh oh. This is the entrance to the Turkish bar. Probably where they steam themselves. <laughs> this is fun, it's like playing in a cubby house. We're just trying to avoid the tour groups. We're going into these smaller little nook caves on the sides of the main ones. And you can see all these little, like tiny little nooks. How is it in there, Hannah? It's a bit pokey, but there are holes. I'm just a bit worried about the depth of this flooring. Because yeah, I can see holes in it. Oh and my it's probably goodness. like seven centimetres thick. So you could easily fall through that floor. Potentially. This is not look healthy. Is that someone's vomit? It's like nuggets. Oh, the bar. Yeah. This is the food storage room. So it's kind of almost like cellarish. The little holes for keeping everything. I wonder what they would have eaten back in those days that they had to store. Cats if we're going off tomatoes. today's menu, we're going to say bread. As Kat has just pointed out, this is where the candles would have been. And there's all the black from all the years of use. So there's many of them scattered around because obviously they didn't have these lights back in the day. <laughs> Woo! Falling over back through here. Another little nook. I reckon. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to go out this way and I'm just going to watch my head this time. Oh, hello. We met again. Hello, friends. Up again? So we're told that there's five levels to this place, so we're trying to see if we can get to all of them. This goes for quite some time, so we're just going to try and find our way down to the end. It is really, really low. Wow, this is huge. And very, quite very steep too. They would have had very strong core muscles, I reckon, to have had to have walked around here every day. And sore backs. It's very short. It is. How you going? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel like I, don't, I want some like fresh air. Oh. Like, I don't know how they live down here. Who's game to go down this little hole? You? <laughs> well, of course, but do you reckon I can get all my bags in with me? Do you want me to carry something? Ooh. I'm just, just for the sake of you guys, I'm going to go down and just But I'm going to have to leave my bags up here because it's a really, really tight squeeze. Check it. Ooh. I call this the shuffle, the cave shuffle. I'm now going past some live wiring. I hope this is safe. Every day I'm shuffling. Whoa, it goes for ages. No, I can't even see the bottom. It like bends all the way around. Oh. Oh, that still goes. What is this? 
say I need a lot camera light. Oh my god, if this light dies, I'm gonna cry. If the light dies. No. It's getting really sandy over there. Ow! I think I can see the end, but I'm not going to go there. This is a really tight squeeze, and I don't think I'm going to go any further because I'm worried if this light on the camera dies, it's going to be a complete pitch black, and I might have a panic attack. So I'm just going to try and shuffle my way back up the top if I can turn around. Oh god! <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? Waddling uphill is a bit harder than waddling downhill. Girl, who needs dry shampoo? I think you've got some chalk in your hair. <laughs> some limestone. Oh, wow. Thanks for coming along on our turkey travels. Please click that like button and if you want to see my next travel series, click subscribe and that little notification bell and I'll see you again soon. Oh, you got sharp teeth. Hello. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye.